Colour in your pictures and cut them out. you need some card. A cereal box works just fine. Paste one side of your picture on the card. This jar is going to hold some butterflies so I'm going to put my butterflies on the opposite side. Before I do that, cut out your disc. And grab some string. You need to make sure that the string is taped down in the center of the disc. I've left some markings on the template. You'll see small horizontal markings. Use a marker to transfer that line on the opposite side. Tape down your string on these markings rub glue all over the back of this disc and grab the other side of the picture which is the butterflies now in order for this to work the butterflies need to be glued upside down so you'll see that there is a black dot on both sides of the images just make sure that they're aligned Once you're done, use your fingers and twirl your disc back and forth. You'll see that the images merge and it appears that the butterflies are inside the jar. Here is a fish bowl with some fish. and water and duck. I've also included some phonics discs. This one is showing the AI digraph, making the A sound. So we have the R and the N on one side, and the AI digraph on the other, making the word brain. This one is the EA digraph, making the E sound. Again, making sure that the dots line up.
So we have the EA digraph making the E sound. R E D read. And O A digraph making the O sound. In the word boat, I've also included some maths equations that you might like to try. plus three is five if you don't have string you can use skewers or straws if you are using skewers just make sure you ask an adult to cut off the sharp ends okay so again using some card to reinforce the discs This one is a spider web and we'll put the spider on the other side and we also have a bird cage and a bird on the other side. Now for this one you want to make sure that the skewer is centered so using the vertical line mark that on the back place your skewer on the top and tape them down some glue all over now for this one your images don't need to be placed upside down because they're being turned on a different axis so just paste your images right way up on the opposite side and twirl them between your fingers so we have a bird in a cage and a spider in a web